Hello, hello YouTube. This is Stephanie, aka ED Nihas Tusababa, aka Tentaro, and I am here to do the mid-month readings. I'm currently on a sign of Libra. So, um, of course, if you are new to tarot, <laughs> excuse me, I'm looking at tarot readings, you must know that the messages may not resonate, but I try to, uh, you know, align the readings to the highest good, for the highest good of each sign. So hopefully there's some nuggets of wisdom that you can glean from the readings. I don't know if you read the description box, you will see that I'm a little, I'm a, I'm a novice. I'm new at doing tarot readings. Uh, you may notice that my readings are inconsistent. As again, I'm just starting out and really just trying to find my grounding and find myself as a reader. So, just hang in there with me if you like. You know, ride with me on this journey as I grow you grow when I move you move just like that when I move you move just like that alright divine forces of unconditional love of uh, unconditional love light peace wealth health and prosperity what, what does the sign of Libra need to know for their highest good this mid-month reading for November what does the sign of Libra need to know for their highest good six of wands victory will of fortune your victory is fated cups and the two of swords so you may be confused about a uh, soulmate union or a very special partnership <sighs> but uh That is changing as we have the death card. So we have the two of cups and the two of swords. So um, there's a love partnership, relationship, very important union, soulmate, twin flame, maybe. Um, you guys balance each other out perfectly. You see, she's on water, this person is on land. And, you know balance each other out but there's some confusion heart and mind it's not on one accord you know for some reason these energies aren't on one accord but we do have the death card here showing that there will be transformation and um, I feel like the balance will be will be restored you know one of those those queens, someone is going to take matters into their own hands and turn that Eight of Swords upside down, which is, you know, overcoming that energy. Bottom of the deck, King of Wands. So we just have the Queen of Wands. There's going to be balance. Balance is going to happen. Like I said, I kind of saw that here with the Two of Cups being clarified. But, I mean, you know, with the Death card here, Eight of Cups. So, clarifying the, the Two of Cups and the Two of Swords energy. Going to be moving. You're going to do what? Oh, you got some more cards to lay out. Let's get the Moonology cards out here as well. Oh, so the message I just got is well I didn't get a message it just shows that 
person that I want to hear from has read my messages. So a response is coming soon. I'm excited. I'm so in love. My heart is just tingling right now. I hate this feeling. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn, okay? We don't like love. Love throws us off our game, okay? It's not fun. Because you can't, you're not in control of love. You can control work. But love, no, nah, boo. Not. So, clarifying that the Two of Cups and the Two of Swords, the answers you need are coming, which we see that they are. Because we have the Death card and um, Transformation here, and then the Queen of Wands overcoming uh, with the Eight of Swords, which shows that, you know, you're going to be overcoming the end to a rough cycle approaches with the death card right so said that already let's get a last one here conclusions are within reach bottom of the deck balance between spirituality and practicality which is probably what you know all of this energy was about but it says here that the answers you need are coming to help help you to um, achieve that balance and to bring an end to this rough cycle to take matters into your own hands and to reach the conclusions that you need to be able to move forward in this beautiful union you know the two of cups king of swords queen queen i mean king of wands and the queen of wands uh, you know wished upon a star and that wish fulfilled you know hope and balance and guidance as you says here you know the conclusions are within reach and, you know, the end of a tough cycle, victory, power, clarity. So again, um, we have the Eight of Cups here clarifying the Two of Cups and the Two of Swords. The answers you need are coming. And um, with the Eight of Cups, it shows that, you know, one of you guys, or maybe both of you, are in search of that change. And you're doing the work that you need with the Three of Pentacles, working together to get those answers. So that you can reach your Ten of Pentacles. And know that all the time that you've invested is not in vain with the Seven of Pentacles here. Double Ten of Pentacles. So it could be some um, childhood traumas that is preventing you guys from being on one accord um, the overall energy is the king of wands you need to make sure you hold on to the bigger picture and then you know we have balance here of spirituality and practicality Death card into a tough cycle approaches. Let's get clarity on the death card. Mm. 
glad I didn't fold that card down to merch. So we have the Eight of Swords, which is restriction. Uh, and then we have the King of Pentacles. So maybe there's a, a restriction on your finances <coughs> that has, you know, has put a strain on your relationship. Since the answers you need are coming. Maybe there's a, like I said, um, restrictions on your finances. But with the King of Pentacles energy here, which is stability, enterprise, very fatherly uh, energy. The Queen of Cups. end of a tough cycle approaches <clears throat> so it could be a poverty mentality here And you may be feeling like, you know, I don't have enough money to take care of this person that I love. You know, this queen of wands deserves <clears throat> everything, you know, but I'm not able to financially provide for this person right now. But spirit is saying that, you know, there's an end. <clears throat> there's an end, an end to that is coming, you know. Just, you know, be mindful of what resources you have here with the King of Pentacles card. Be mindful of what resources you have, you know, going to um, meditation here with the Hermit card. Get your um, emotions in check and tap into your intu intuition and it will guide you. To what you need to do to overcome the devil card you know overcome the illusions that you're not good enough perhaps <clears throat> i'm free of whatever is holding me back know that you deserve abundance <clears throat> And so now it's probably time for you to, to demand that, you know, say your affirmations. You've probably done all that you can physically. You, you've done the work, 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 but it's not paying off, perhaps. And that's because you need to bring in the spiritual side as well. You know, do your affirmations visualize what it is that you want and how you want things to go it's time for you to tap into that spiritual aspect of your being as the one suit is all about spirituality as well you know she has her has the set right there next to her which is you know the egyptian deity you know very intuitive the one suit is as well We have the death card, the devil, and then the death card transition from the state of lack, lack of confidence and fear, into the state of strength and courage, and take that leap of faith.
take matters into your own hands and know that you deserve wealth. Balance, spiritual, spirituality and practicality. Know that you deserve wealth and come up with a strategy to achieve it. Again, you need to look to see what resources you have around you. You have resources around you that can help you to, you know, bring more money in to maybe balance out. Double fool card coming out. Take the leap of faith. It says I'm guided and protected on my life journey. Create the vision here with the King of Wands as the overall energy. Create the vision. Inhale. You may need to use some uh, sexual magic to manif manifest it here. You know, maybe you and your partner can come together and, you know, have, have it set in your mind, okay, this is what we want to accomplish. And when you <laughs> hold that, hold, hold that thought in your mind. Of what you want to accomplish. So when you hit bust that nut. That energy is going to help you to achieve it. You know. It's you know. Taking things into, again into the spiritual realm. You know. Solving. Trying to solve. Solve your. Um, using that resource. To bring in. Uh, to, 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 to lift the restriction. That may be. Holding you back. So it's time for you to set the vision. Set the vision, set your intentions on which way you want things to go, whatever it is that's going on in your life. And once you set the intention, you know, release it to the divine for one. You know, do all that you can on your ends, whether it's sexual magic or using the elements to, uh, You know, bring things around, tap into your magician power. And also the feeling like of love, emotion. There has to be a lot of emotion behind it. So that's why, you know, doing the sexual magic um, can help as well because there's a lot of emotion involved in it. And again, you know, you can use the, again, you know what I'm saying? Like, the two of cups, this. The emotion that you guys, the alchemy, <laughs> the alchemy of the sexual alchemy is going to help you guys to overcome and to bring the answers that you need, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> you know, so bring love into, this situ into the situation. A new start is coming. If you bring love into the situation and, you know, bring in the spiritual aspects and to whatever it is that you're dealing with. Then you can get that new start. You can transform. <clears throat> maybe being in the, uh, a poverty mentality. And work to start creating a legacy. For your family. You know. Building that firm foundation. And overcoming any chaos, you know, being calm in the chaos because you know what to do now. You the harmony card here. You know, you and your your loved one, your your mate, being back on one accord because things are flowing smoothly again. You're not in a state of confusion anymore or boredom. There's a new vitality 
within your relationship now. Because you've done the work. Have communication is key as well here. Double King of Wands. So I guess we'll stop right there because we have the King of Wands here and King of Wands again. I usually stop when it's you know it's double when the we have the double cards here. So hold the vision because it you know the overall energy here is balancing uh, spirituality and practicality. So now it's, it's not about just working, you know, and doing physical action. It's about, you know, the mental uh, strategy and um, achieving things. Because now we're in the energy where the spirit realm is more powerful than the, spirit, than the physical, so they say. And if that's the case, then it's time for us to use our minds a little bit more, our hearts, the emotion, uh, the things, you know, those non-tangible ways of getting things accomplished. And uh, that's where we will find our healing. That's where you will find your healing, Libra. So, yeah, that's the message I have for you. Till next time.